This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Paul Koretz is here. He is a council member for the city of Los Angeles. We have suffered such traumatic drought over the last four years, but Mother Nature can be fickle, and she may be fickle this year because we may be facing the exact opposite of a drought, a massive El Nino with torrential rains that are being de uh, deemed Godzilla in proportion. What do you think? Well, I think, first of all, we may be in a, a virtually permanent drought because with climate change, we can't store water as snowpack in the Sierras. Um, and so with the break of El Nino, uh, we still uh, are in the midst of a drought that could go on for a long time or indefinitely. Right, it's so, interesting you mentioned So we mentioned, can't stop yeah. conserving even if we have a big El Nino. It's interesting you mentioned that because like you said, we could have a big El Nino, but El Nino rains, as I understand it, tend to be warm. And therefore, some of the precipitation may not wind up being snowpack exactly. in the Sierras. And so we don't have, like you said, the storage capacity, or that's what I've heard. You know, if it's simply rain, it would just get washed out into the ocean. No, we're starting to figure out, and we will over time, mm -hmm. how we can make better use of, of the rains that we do get in Southern right. California. But for now, uh, if a certain number of people will quickly get rain barrels and cisterns, we may be able to get a start on that before El Nino Do you hits. know if the LADWP is offering rebates for those rain barrels and cisterns? or do We you... definitely are offering uh -huh. incentives, and at times Coke and Pepsi have given oh, us okay. syrup barrels, oh. and so those come free. Sure. Um, you know, if you contact uh, DWP, I think right. we can... We can assess all good those to different hear. incentives. What though do we do in terms of preventing harm and injury from mudslide? As you know, in northern Los Angeles County, a few months back there were massive mudslides from torrential rains that were sudden. Or is the city starting to prepare given dry mountains and the potential for mudslides? Well, we are, and I'm a little concerned about that. Mm -hmm. Now, the other great mudslide was a thousand year flood. Meaning so, the one in the Antelope Valley. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, we're not expecting that, but we are clearing out all our drains. Um, we're clearing out our sewage system. We. What about the L.A. River? The L.A. River can handle a fair amount of water. Mm -hmm. The concern there is that some people are living in right. or near the L.A. River, and we're trying to do the outreach to make sure that all our homeless people mm -hmm. uh, are not going to be swept away with, you know, there's a certain potential for danger there. We're going to have a lot of earth moving equipment, especially in the hillsides. So where there are floods and mudslides, we will be able to move them away quickly. One thing that I've been suggesting, I'm not sure the department has bought into it mm -hmm. yet, is that the last time we had a very severe set of rainstorms, uh, when we had hillsides slide, we would then cover them with tarps and in some cases do some K-rail to, mm -hmm. to move the mud and water in the direction we want to. Well, I'm suggesting that we anticipate that ah. and do it before it hits. Uh, I'm not sure that has, is something that the city's committed to yet. What can we do, because you did say this, to reinform and remind Angelinos that even though we will see water coming out of the sky, we are not out of the woods as it relates to the drought. We still need to engage in conservation measures. No, and especially even during El Nino, it's especially the time to stop washing your dishes, stop flushing your toilets if there's a, a really severe event um, because we can't handle all the water. Interesting. So at least if we can conserve and contribute less to uh, the burden we're putting on our system, the outflow. Uh, that, mm -hmm. will, that will help a lot. So when El Nino hits, you know, st stop doing your laundry, <laughs> stop washing dishes. It's counterintuitive, but I get it. His name is Paul Koretz. He is a council member for the city of Los Angeles. My name is Brad Palmer, and stay safe. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.